Tonight, we are getting more answers about the chemical makeup of the debris from the September 29th fire at Biolab in Rockdale County. The fire created a massive plume of smoke and forced 1,700 people to evacuate. 11 Alive investigator Savannah Levins joining us now with an update. So, Savannah, what are you learning tonight? Well, just a few hours ago, I wrapped up an interview with Scott Smith. He's an environmental advocate who collected samples of water, ash, soot, and other debris immediately following that fire and sent it to a a third party nationally accredited lab for testing. Now he's provided us with new results tonight showing the presence of volatile organic compounds, dioxins and PAHs in some of those samples. Those compounds are known for their potential to cause health problems, including cancer. Now Smith is planning to present that data at a town hall event tomorrow night. He says it's important for residents to be informed and track any health concerns that may have developed since the fire. We're hearing about bloody noses, we're hearing about headaches, brain fog, uh, a lot of uh, female issues related to menstrual cycles. Some people are getting stroke-like symptoms. I think they should know what they've possibly been exposed to, and if you're having some symptoms, they shouldn't be able to take these chemicals I've identified and, and seek appropriate help for their family. Savannah, this is definitely concerning for anyone impacted. What are state and federal health officials saying about all of this? Well, Jennifer, the EPA and state DPH have maintained that based on air quality and water monitoring that they've done, there does not appear to be any immediate threat to public safety. The town hall meeting is tomorrow night at 530 at the Stone Mountain event facility in Lithonia. We have confirmed at least three local law firms will also be in attendance and each have expressed they plan to pursue individual chemical exposure claims. All right, Savannah, thank you so much for that update. And you may remember just last week, Biolab announced it had completed cleanup efforts and will permanently shut down production at the Conyers facility.